at some point in the game, you're going to come across a door that you need to lockpick, or a safe, or, you know, something in the wall. You're going to need to crack locks. Um, I like to be able to do a little bit of lockpicking. It's not my primary way of playing, um, but I do like to have it in my back pocket so that I can unlock things as needed from time to time. I can't do masters yet, but I can do, you know, the basics. Um, so once you get in here, um, you're going to see where it says you need bobby pins. Now, I've just, I collect all the bobby pins I come across, so I have a great stockpile. Um, a, the the lock picking system here you know there's just a mini game that you have to do where it's like you have to move the top bobby pin until you can spin the the screwdriver all the way around um, and when you do boom it unlocks whatever you're trying to open and you can get in here and get access to things like oh cool more bobby pins and wonder glue some fuses and an adjustable wrench you know just some extra loot along the way but sometimes you'll also find that there are certain quest objectives where you can like bypass entire sections of a room or an area by uh, going through a door or something. Now this is an expert level, Loctite. which I can't do. So leveling up your lock picking is important if you want to lock pick the coolest things in the game. But uh, that's just something to consider. It does use bobby pins, so it's an expendable resource. But uh, if you want to run a stealth build, which I've done in the past, I know I did a stealth build in Starfield most recently. I mean Bethesda games. Uh, stealth builds are a lot of fun, but they usually have a consumable resource, and in this case, it is bobby pins. If you found this quick tip useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams here and on Twitch, and I'll see you in the next Fallout 4 video.